So I'm studying up on a painting that I've been wanting to do. Nothing in particular. Maybe you'll be able to figure it out. Maybe you won't. But you'll see it when it's done, so. That one thing is sure. <laughs> Drawing it out tonight, working on it. So I have nothing else to do. We're on our way. So this is my work in progress. An eagle eating a bat. Sitting on an olive branch. And I'm still deciding what I'm putting in the background. So this is my eagle painting. Eagle eating a bat with the don't tread on me American flag. And then I'm going to put a Chinese flag like dangling from this tree. It's also what I want to do. But first I got to tone the canvas, which I already screwed up because I didn't tone it. But that's all right because we can wipe this off. And it's just acrylic. I've been painting for 20 years. And learned a lot throughout this 20 year process of learning to paint. And I'm still learning every day. I'm not ever going to reach perfection. But basically you want to tone your canvas with a warm yellow to start off and then there's something called that I call God vision where you're going to put a rainbow progression throughout your picture all good pictures have the golden spiral which my golden spiral is the eagle's eye which is like a central spiral that all the details will spiral out and it'll get less detailed as it gets farther away from the center spiral and then you're gonna have a rainbow progression from your blues all the way to your reds down here because the foreground is going to be more warm and red and the background is going to be cold and blue so you have a rainbow progression naturally in your built into your eyeball in all your pictures you want to have that rainbow progression you also have a detail progression where the detail is more in the foreground, less in the background. You want to put more detail in the middle of the spiral, less, you know, as it spirals out. So it's a little complicated to work all those different elements into it. But after 20 years, you can figure it out. So, so now we tone the canvas, which... You probably can't see the lines very good, but I can see them enough that I'm going to put on the other layers of color. So this is like step two. Step one is drawing it on. Step two, tone it. Step three, start putting in the lines for everything. So obviously I started doing my outlining too soon, and it's all running together. So I'm deciding to scrap my acrylic and go grab my oils and just start painting in with oils because they don't run at all. And I'm very impatient and the Lord's given me this vision for this painting so I want to get it done tonight or tomorrow I want to get it done fast because I think he really wants me to get this out there for people to contemplate and so I'm grabbing my oil paint next so this is our eagle flag painting as we're going through it um, the only issue I can't find my paint so or I can't find my oil paint so I'm stuck with this acrylic but I guess it'll work so I've decided since I can't find my oil paint but I like to do oil type painting because you can layer it and oil paintings thicker and stuff so you have more control I'm gonna put a layer of clear coat because this is just like epoxy over my first layer of acrylic then it gives it a transparent transparency like oil paint and then I'm going to go through with another layer of acrylic and then I'm going to cover it with more of my clear coat so then it will have an oil paint looking finish and it will last for a very long time where acrylic can fade acrylic can flake but if you add the clear coat epoxy to it that's not going to happen so I have my own, I'm a multimedia artist. I use all sorts of different mediums for my artwork. And 
I don't have all the colors that I want, so I'm going to mix some different colors. This is like a burgundy and a hot orange for some of my reds because I don't have red. So obviously I'm just going to work with what I have to work with. And I'm very good at color blending if I can boast on myself for a minute here. I have some weird ability to put colors together and blend them certain ways. Um, there's a millionaire guy in Dearborn that had me come in and pick out colors for his product labels because he saw my paintings online and was like, you are marvelous when it comes to colors. So I want you to come in here and show me which labels you think look the best. And he had me pick from like six different label shades of green, six different label shades of orange. What color do you like the best? So that was kind of a funny little gig, but it was fun to do and totally unexpected and out of the blue. But I have a weird sense of color and I know how to explain that, but artists have different things they're good at. I have detail, very good detail, very good color. I'm not as good on perspective. <laughs> so artists have different things they're good at and different things they're bad at. So I'm putting this together. Should be done in an hour or two. So this is our eagle painting at work. <laughs> you know, so, coming. so this is our eagle eating the Chinese bat in front of the American flag. Don't tread on me. And the olive branch. So here's our whole picture. Basically how it turned out after three hours. Just wasn't that bad. Using acrylic paint wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I like to use oil paint, obviously. I'm more of an oil painter, but I'll use different mediums. You know, I'm a multimedia artist, so it doesn't matter that much. But the thickness of the paint, when you use oil paint, turns out much thicker. So that's why I like oil paint. But the whole point was... America's going to conquer coronavirus and we're going to beat the Chinese bat. That was the whole point. And I was thinking about putting a little Chinese flag in the bat's hand or something. I might add some more to it later. Obviously, tomorrow when I look at it after I go to bed and wake up, there's going to be some things I'm going to want to change. But that's where we're at tonight. And I'm getting very tired. So, time for bed. <laughs> So now I just added my clear coat, which adds a whole new level of depth to the picture. As you can see, the color suddenly is brighter. The depth is a lot fuller. You can make out the details more once I add my clear coat. And that makes it last way longer to have clear epoxy over my colors. It makes them more vibrant. They pop out more. And it's going to make them last a lot longer. So I did one clear coat epoxy. Then I'm going to go through and add more details and put a second clear coat of epoxy. And then it should be completely finished. And this is something that can never be replicated, obviously. So that's the cool part about it. And it makes all the shadows pop out so it looks more realistic. The flag and everything. So that's my little technique. I had fun doing it. The Lord just gave me this vision for the eagle eating the bat. And I was like, I need to paint that. So just decided I'm going to do it. Come see what mommy made. What do you think? A eagle? Yeah. What do you think of it? A snake. Yeah. You are my biggest critic. Go ahead. You get to be my critic. Now I now now I, now I send the eagle. Now I say, "Hi, eagle. Do you kill the snake?" <laughs> no, eagle can kill the snake. Oh, the eagle's gonna kill the snake. No, the eagle and the snake are working together against the bat. 
And the snake was bad. Snake was bad. Now you know the eagle was killing the snake. Mm, this was a good snake. And he's working with the eagle against the bat. This is our completed painting. Hopefully it's completed. I feel like I never can be done with a painting. I have to keep coming back, but hopefully that's it completed. So I think the last final touch is going to be putting the Chinese flag on the bat. And I think I'm going to wrap the bat in a Chinese flag. Just to make it that much more obvious what's happening here. Put a little Chinese flag on the bat so that they know that America's freedom is going to eat your communism for breakfast. People want to be free. They don't want your communism. And that's the point. Whole point of the picture here. I gotta see what the communist flag looks like. Flag. Okay, simple enough. It is one big star and then four little ones. Yeah, lucky for me, I was raised by a man who was completely against communism. My grandpa was completely against the communist ideology and against the Democrat garbage. But on the other side of my family were these Democrats that really hated freedom. So, but luckily I ended up following the right path. Could have gone either way for me. It sucks to be a kid when you're caught in the middle of the war games, basically. You know, some of them want you to be a Democrat, some of them want you to be a Republican, you're stuck in the middle, you're like, what way do I go? But the path to freedom, every man wants freedom. So it becomes abundantly obvious as you grow up that you want freedom, that every human being wants freedom and liberty, and every human being has a right to life. So it became abundantly clear to me which path was right the older I got. When I was younger, I didn't know what was right. But as you get older, you realize that we want freedom. We want religious freedom and we want, um, you know, our rights. It's just not normal to not want freedom. I don't understand why anybody would want to be a communist. I don't really get that at all. So I'm adding some more detail to the flag and then I'm pretty much, that's it, I'm done. Comes a point when you have to just walk away as an artist that's hard to decide. Because you're just like, oh, I want to keep adding more details. But if you add too much, it's not, doesn't turn out as good, I found out. Sometimes you just gotta walk, you know. But my flags need some more detail here. And freedom costed us something.
my grandpa had to fight in Korea. And he was captured and nearly lost his life. Luckily, he survived. And I'm here, you know, to tell about it. But he could have been another statistic. But he was made of steel, man. Nobody could stop him. It's still unfathomable to me that he's gone. You know, he just passed away. But that's just unfathomable because he was such a strong man. But there's no man that liveth that shall not see death. Everyone's going to die at some point. And I know I'm going to see him again, so that makes it all right. And I know he's proud of what I'm doing, so that's another thing. He'd be very proud of me. Because he was all about... Republican, Christian, that was his main thing, so. All right, and he was very happy that we were doing evangelism to the Muslims. He loved to hear that. He thought it was funny, too. He laughed when I told him that. <laughs> okay. So, there we go. Pretty much done. You know, I might come back once in a while and change a thing or two, but that's pretty much our finished deal here.